Now to that breakthrough in the battle against AIDS. Decades after an AIDS diagnosis was a death sentence, the FDA today approved the first drug that is almost totally effective in preventing the disease. It is lenacapavir. To show you just how far we've come, the CDC reported the first cases in 1981. The next year, the disease got a name, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. At high risk were gay men and intravenous drug users. It would be four years, 1985, before President Reagan first mentioned AIDS. That same year, actor Rock Hudson announced he had it. In 1987, the FDA approved the first AIDS treatment, AZT. In 1991, Magic Johnson of the L.A. Lakers announced he was HIV positive. In 1992, AIDS became the number one cause of death for American men ages 25 to 44. In 1997, highly active antiretroviral therapy increased HIV life expectancy by 15 years. In 2021, the FDA approved the first long-acting shot used for HIV treatment. Since 1981, more than 700,000 people in this country have died of AIDS. And Dr. John LaPook joins us now. John, people are using the word breakthrough for this. Is, does it warrant that? This is huge. I remember my first patient with HIV AIDS, March of 1981, first bed on the left. He died and so did every single patient with HIV I saw for years. Then we had these new drugs that were effective and the concept of taking a pill every day to prevent HIV AIDS. The problem was people were, weren't compliant. They weren't taking it. It was hard to get it to people and there was a stigma associated with taking it. Now you have an injection twice a year that's more than 99.9% .9 effective at preventive, preventing HIV AIDS in people at high risk. What are the obstacles that remain here, John? We're hearing the cost is super high. Yeah, I spoke to a spokeswoman today from Gilead. She said it's going to be about $28,000 a year at list price. But they're making all sorts of efforts, she said, to make it more widely available to everyone. But the problem, of course, is in the United States, we have decreased support from federal programs, both inside the United States and abroad, for HIV prevention. So the question remains, are we going to be able to have access and, and use and instructions for people who need it?